Welcome back. Still ending this weekend trying to soak in all the sunshine we can. And this is a nice view from Grand Haven sent in by Mark. Nice rays there over the high clouds on the horizon. We pretty much dodged all clouds here today. I think we're going to end up with about 97, 98% sunshine as that sunset moved into the clouds. But nonetheless, it was uh, barely any clouds in the sky throughout the afternoon. So to recap, it was the sunniest and driest weekend since November 18th and 19th of last year. It was also our first 50 degree day since around Christmas time in over 40 days. We went the entire month of January uh, really without a 40 degree day either. So it's been a nice change of pace and it was our last 6 p.m. sunset today until next fall. Previous 6 p.m. or later sunset was November 4th and that was the day before daylight saving time ending. So with that, again, sunniest stretch since November 17th through 19th, so really that same weekend. Meanwhile, Grand Rapids, quiet, nice view here as well with no snow on the ground really anymore. All that's melted away at a very, very good clip in the last few days. Again, today, touching 50 degrees really helped melt that. 30 in Grand Rapids right now. We do have a lot of areas cooling back down. It's clear skies, calm winds, so temperatures have dropped quite quickly after touching that 50 degree mark, now back below freezing. And it's going to be pretty much freezing across the entire region tonight into tomorrow morning. Notice the warmest and mildest air still sitting down near Kentucky, but we're in the sweet spot because a high pressure off to our east that keeps us in the uh, high pressure with a little sunshine, not nearly as many clouds and with the light winds, not a lot of that lake effect moisture. Big cloud deck though in the central part of the country. That'll eventually move our way, but the first half of the week is looking quiet. Thursday afternoon, rain moves in, and then we'll track showers into Friday, maybe lingering into the weekend, but the overall trend is going to be pretty dry. All right, we'll take you through Monday. A few clouds to start, and then we'll see that clear out. Watch for some fog again tomorrow morning as well. Temperatures are already pretty close to those dew points, so that'll lead to some uh, condensation and fog. Tuesday afternoon, a little more sunshine as well, and temperatures keep warming back up. War coldest day of the week is going to be Monday, and then there's that rain chance on Thursday, and that'll last into Friday. Temperatures on Monday, again, cooler than what they were today. Looks like it'll be the coolest day of the work week. Low 40s for most, even upper 30s once you get on the east side of the state where clouds are going to be a little more prevalent, a little sunnier along the lakeshore. We're looking at 44 in Muskegon, while it's going to be 42 in the Hastings, Grand Rapids areas. Uh, but then we're back to 43 on Tuesday. We'll go partly cloudy for now, but some areas may see mostly sunny. Clouds do increase Wednesday, and then there will be moments of sunshine before that rain finally moves in on Thursday. Uh, but overall trend with this rain, it's going to be a pretty good system that moves in through the evening. Strong winds even with the scattered showers, but I think total rainfall isn't going to be overly impressive. Maybe a third of an inch of rain before that system moves out of our area and things start to quiet down.